Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and it's that time again. It is a new release from Grant and Emily Vaughn, Move On. And by the way, that is, if you ever want to get someone with the last name Vaughn on the track, it's when you name the track Move On. Move On, Vaughn, it works great. I'm happy, we're getting new Grant, it's gonna be Friday, and uh... Okay, so uh, you know what? Let's just let's just jump into it. I I, I don't need to say anything for it. I will say I'm gonna bet right now this is going to be an EP. There's like three songs so quick back to back. I just I, I think it's got to be an EP. I just think it's got to be an EP. Um, so uh, we're just gonna listen to uh, and the artwork looks so super similar, super similar artwork every time. You got fix it, and won't give up. Move on. We're gonna listen to it <laughs> right. Whoop, right now. Whoa. Kind of a funky start. Way too many faces in the crowd, but I think that I see a space guitar. One too many days got me changing up the way that I need you. Now we're both at a bar, acting like it's not hard, trying to feel something different. I feel like this is gonna have a lot of energy to it. Oh, that's fun. Okay, where's this going? Very pronounced basses. Ooh. Okay. Wow, that was a fast drop. Kind of just <laughs> came and went. Okay, it's really bright so far. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, does that same little uh, outro that I did with the intro. Um, Move On by Grant and Emily Vaughn. Uh, that was, uh, I was, I, I don't want to use the descriptor, but I'm going to again. That was fun. It was a fun track. Uh, the immediate thing that I noticed, and I think this song really solidified it for me, um, in my theory, in my head theory, is that uh, Grant is moving a, a, a lot away from future bass in some sense. Obviously, it's all still future bass, um, but the kind of, I, I don't want to call it classic Grant, but just like um, the more electronic-y aspect or end of the spectrum in terms of it being like electronic-y and then like kind of poppy music, like if you think of like a, a Martin Garrix future bass or something like that, that's uh, that's just like radio friendly. He's He was kind of always just here in terms of like it being EDM and then pop, um, but it, he's, get, he's moving a lot more towards this way, I think. Um, and it's not a bad thing. 
Uh, it's not a bad thing, it's just a stylistic change, um, which is why I think this also is going to be an EP. It's just my random guess. Similar artwork, he's releasing this song he said was come, was back from his, what, first year of college, I think he said, or a year ago in college? One of the two year things. Um, yeah, okay, so content-wise about what the song's about, obviously it's about uh, moving on from someone relationally, whether it's a breakup or just not seeing that person much anymore uh, and wanting to <laughs> move on and not see them and, and kind of the, the two-way struggle of it of um, also wanting to see the person but not, and it's, yeah, that kind of battle that most people have experienced in their life. Um, Production-wise, uh, I I did like it. Um, I am, I, and I, I mean really critical stuff here because I'm a huge Grant fan. Uh, I think this is some of my least favorite of his kind of production style, uh, these last three songs. Actually, I really, really loved Fix It, um, but uh, Won't Give Up and Move On. I think we're just, uh, they're a little more, I think, poppy to uh, over, like friendly to more people, to me, if that makes more sense, um, that I would like a little bit. So if you think of like early Grant Bowtie days, Grant Bowtie, which also is not, by the way, not why I'm Bowtie Media. Uh, that was a like happy coincidence. I, I never realized. I just forgot about Grant Bowtie. Um, uh, but he, the early Grant Bowtie days were like just, just future based. Like they were just like, kind of epic tracks that would come in and weren't really like radio friendly whereas something like this song now move on with emily vaughn is just um it's like something that i could probably hear on the radio or or yeah something on i don't know what the i don't listen to the car satellite radio stuff but um something i would hear on that or like popular mixes or something like that um and it's just a little less my style of Grant. So I still do enjoy the song, um, and I think it's got that radio friendliness and just energy to it, um, but to me, it's not uh, my bread and butter, my favorite kind of stuff that I think Grant's ever produced. Um, and that's okay, because I think he's gonna get a lot more appeal uh, with more people from this track, and um, if this is where he wants to go stylistically, I am on board. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I mean, my favorite stuff is always his 2017 things. Uh, Constellations, uh, Wake Up, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly which ones were in that time frame. Uh, Weapon, I think, was at the end of 2017. Um, there's two more in there. Uh, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but Constellations is my favorite song of his. Uh, it's actually my favorite song of all time. Uh, Constellations, without a doubt, is actually my, like, I kid you not, my favorite song of all time. And it has been for quite some time now. Um, so I, I just love that kind of just honed in on like really heavy or um, melodic future bass and, and keeping those uh, like big energies and tons of movement around and just the tracks are super dynamic. Um, and so this just feels like it's it's more leveled out. It doesn't have the ups and downs and the um, the big energy peaks and, and valleys of, of kind of older production styles of Grant, um, but it's more leveled out for a more mainstream approach. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it one more listen and then uh, I will I'll come back with some final thoughts. So I've been trying to figure out kind of why I like the older Grant kind of stuff and the difference between that thing and, and this. And I realized I think he's using a lot more like raw, real instrumentation in this. Um, just like the, the bass guitar, I, I think it's also a, an electric in there somewhere. Um, just like actual, they feel like real instruments that I, I I'm listening to rather than just um, like synth sound, like synth noises and or just um, just a produced track, if that makes sense. I don't know the right language for it, but um, and I, I think I enjoy the more of the like the actual electronic music sounds, the EDM sounds uh, more than the, the raw instrumentation. And so it, it's a, it's a very different uh, thing stylistically. And I, and I think it's very similar to Won't Give Up in that sense. Um, I don't know why, this, the song reminded me, or maybe I was just brought back to the memories of uh, Where Will We Go, and just how I think the song could have been something like that. Um, it's ironic, in my last video I said that I I, I like his, uh, when he has female vocals more often, but now I'm gonna say uh, Where Will We Go is his own vocals again. Um, I think I'm just being picky or whatever. Um, that song was incredible, and just the like the journey that you went on with the, the big build and no drop and stuff like that, I, I think it really could have been something like that. Um, but again, I, I'm, I'm not the one making this music, I'm just reacting to it. Um, but ultimately, I, I think I, it, it's just the difference of, of style uh, of where he's going, of kind of creating a more um, uh, user-friendly experience to more people. I wouldn't say user-friendly, but listener-friendly to more broader audiences than just your kind of electronic music heads. And I think a lot of artists are doing that nowadays. Tristam did it, I think Haywire did it a little bit with his last song. Um, 
trying to think of other like I mean even Karma Fields did a little bit where he's he's making stuff that's more definitely more user friendly than something like New Age Dark Age, um, and I think it's just common like once you hit a per- point you want to start making music that more people are going to want to listen to you want to get a radio hit song you want to have something played in the top two hundred top one hundred and and be played a lot and so I get it uh, I totally understand but um, in the end I think. I'm, I'm sadly going to say this. This might be one of uh, this might be my least favorite Grant song uh, that he's produced ever. Um, and that being said, though, uh, it's still probably like a seven out of ten for me. So it's still a song that I really, really enjoy, um, but just not to the same level of, I guess, expertise. I wouldn't even say expertise. It's just not me. It's not my classic Grant. I keep I hate using those words, but I keep using them. I got to think of other stuff. Not classic Grant, but it's just a different style and tonality than what I'm used to, uh, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But in this case, it just isn't what my my preference would be on a given day. Uh, but on that sort of sad note, uh, let me know you guys think in the comment section below. Did you love this? Did you think it was different? Did you think did did you just I don't know. I just want to know. I don't want to put any thoughts in your head. I mean, I literally just gave a whole reaction. Um, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about it. Uh, do you think this is going to be an EP as well? Do you think there's going to be something like that? How does it compare to Fix It and Won't Give Up? Are they similar? Is Where does it rank for you? Uh, but in terms of those three, easily, I think actually Fix It, Won't Give Up, um, and then move on. It's actually those three in order without a doubt for me. Um, but yeah, I've been Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.